<coughs> Madam Speaker, Mr. Ramalingam Mesfri is the chairperson of the Mauritius Sports Authority. As regards part A of the question, I am informed by the Director General of Mauritius Sports Authority that the chairperson holds a postgraduate diploma in public relations and a certificate in strategic port policy, governance and stakeholders management. In regard to part B of the question, the chairperson of the Mauritius Sports Authority was appointed with effect from 27th February 2015. Upon expiry, his contract was renewed with effect from 3rd of August 2018 and the fees payable to him was revised from 70,000 rupees per month to 95,000 rupees per month against the abolition of cashable leaves and payment of gratuity. The other terms and conditions of his contract are duration of two years, entertainment allowance of 15,000 rupees per month, use of an official car refueled by the MPA up to 20,000 rupees per month. Madam Speaker, as regards part C of the question, I am tabling the information requested by the Honourable Member. Can I know from the Prime Minister whether this person is a full-time chairperson of the board or a part-time? I, I believe it must be part-time, no? Part-time chairperson. Can I know from the Prime Minister whether, according to the terms and conditions of his employment contract, whether he is allowed to be engaged in political activities on a full-time basis as well? Well, I am not aware of his uh, whereabouts outside being chairing these uh, meetings of the MPA. <laughs> it is well known that he is engaged in full political activities. Many of them are shown on TV, NBC TV especially, and in the press. Can I look from the Prime Minister whether this chairperson is being provided with, a, with an office and all amenities on a full-time basis, and whether this office also is used for political activity, meeting people of the political, uh, meeting political agents and engage in full political activity. Whether, if the Prime Minister is not aware, whether he is prepared to ask and conduct an inquiry on that? Well, I don't know about whether he has an office at the MPA. Probably they can provide me with the information. But uh, the office is used, I know, generally for uh, any activities in connection with uh, the Ports Authority's, uh, uh, you know, uh, dealings. So, uh, but let me see. His office, his office is not allocated on a full time to him. So he must have at least a place <laughs> when he's there. But it is not a, a permanent, it is not a permanent office. Being given that the, this, this is a very special visit which all the population is welcoming, can I ask the Prime Minister to make, it, uh, make a request that local authorities, in general, the municipalities, district councils, be directed to upgrade the, the various sites where we have for the Laval, Grotos and so on, even street name plates, being given that the Holiness will come in during that specific uh, I would say activity of, uh, for the Laval. I, I have said in my reply that uh, there are uh, upgrading works which are going to be done uh, at the Shrine of uh, Blessed Father Laval. Recently we have heard that there are so two, two voices, one of the MTPA and one of the uh, the, the, LARIM, the MTPA government and then LARIM. And recently, we have one of the Assemblée Générale of LARIM, the minister was talking on one 
giving one speech and the director of Larim was on the other, other side. Can, can we know whether exactly there is some coordination between the, the Larim at higher level and the ministry? Well, of course there is. In fact, tomorrow I'm meeting the president of Larim in my office at noon. The concerning accidents, people have lost their life, dangerous driving, following uh, irresponsible drivers. Can the minister have a figure, give us information, how many of these types, I would say, persons are going to jail, are been sent to jail, and how many have been, had their license suspended in, in cases where they have been uh, found guilty and then sent to court? Can the minister give us some figures? I don't have these figures, but I think that uh, I can uh, ask the Commissioner of Police to say how many cases. Are. I think the uh, Honourable Right, Honourable Minister Mento mentioned some figures, but we have to see how the cases are being invoked. I think there's a mission to agree that the MBC, instead of being engaged in more political activities, at least the MBC must, no, the MBC must be used abolition. At least give figures, do you are an expert in all these IT uh, uh, communication at least uh, use the MBC TV actually to say how many people has their license been suspended, how many has been has gone to jail. If there have been any we, we have the figures, we will do that, Madam Speaker. Six nine six Madam Speaker, with your permission, I will answer this question. I'm informed from the, the phase one of the Metro Express project from Rosil to Port Louis, which will go through Beaubassin, Barclay, and Richelieu, is on track and is to be operational as from September 2019. This phase is reported to be 81% completed. The rail track will pass along the Nelson Mandela Street up to the Barclay Police Station with one lane for vehicular access and footpath for pedestrians. From the Barclay Police Station, the truck continues across Sugarcane Field at grade up to the depot at Richelieu. Madam Speaker, the Barclay Metro Station is to be located along Colonel Mangal Road and will be conveniently accessible for residents. The station designs and this setting promotes an interesting and distinctive visual character with elegant and contemporary architecture. Accessibility and safety for all passengers, comfortable, led, uh, equitable access and easy connections to surrounding roads and footpaths will be provided. To promote cycling and active mobility in the Barclay area, 12 cycling racks will be placed at the station. Safety and security will be improved by lighting around the station and CCTV surveillance cameras. Madam Speaker, along the Nelson Mandela Street, there, are, there was a children playground and a volleyball pitch which had to be removed to give way to the new modern light rail system. In line with the policy of government to provide similar and improved facilities, for any facilities impacted upon by the Metro Express project, the municipality of Boba saint rosil has constructed for the inhabitants of Barclay and the vicinity an open sports complex comprising basketball, volleyball, mini soccer pitches, a children playground with dedicated parking slots and watchman shed. This open sports complex is operational since February 2019 and the inhabitants of Barclay of all ages are enjoying this facility. Madam Speaker, with regards to part A of the question, I'm informed that the NHDC housing estate at Montselmont La Confiance Barclay, Mega Residence Barclay is located outside the Metro Express corridor and is not affected by the Metro Express project alignment. With regards to part B of the question, Madam Speaker, I'm informed that the football ground at Montselmont La Confiance, Barclay Manga Bobassin, has been put at the disposal of the contractor Larson and Tubro for stacking of construction materials in connection with the project by the Municipal Council of Bobassin Rosil. Larson and Tubro will reinstate the football playground to its original state after completion of the project. With regards to part C of the question, as for the project of this magnitude, the contractor Larson and Tubro has constructed a precast yard adjacent to the Metro Express project alignment for the testing of materials and the construction of the girders, which are now completed for phase one. 
This land will be reinstated to its original condition by Lausanne and Tubro. Madam Speaker, with regards to Part D of the question, I'm informed that Lausanne and Tubro will facilitate reinstatement of all pathways in connection of all lateral roads at the construction sites and the vicinity around the world, including the provision of clear delineation of access paths, clear and, let, and uh, orientation as part of the station design, adequate footpath cycle with regularly spaced shade trees and rest stops at key locations, and upgrading of the drainage system for future developments. Accordingly, all road infrastructures and related facilities along and near the Metro Express project corridor is and will be upgraded to give way to a modern and well-integrated multimodal system. Madam, I've heard a lot of will be and I've heard from the minister will be, will be, so many things you have announced. The true it is that true it is that there, are construct, there is a construction site, there is a major project. I would have wished that the minister, I was sourcing earlier, that he has, can affect a side visit. The situation that inhabitants and we MPs were not against the project. But we have constructed Barclay over the years. We have rebuilt Barclay. Now it's another stage. Can the minister give an assurance that time, time limits will be given, not will be, but at least we'll see that just the football ground, the state, public money was spent 15 million to build that football ground at near La Conquia, which is used as a, as a construction site. Can the minister at least give guarantee to the, uh, the youth of the region that this football ground would not suffer the same fate as King Dolphic Stadium? It was its number one stadium, and now it's used for construction site, stocking materials. So can the minister at least give a guarantee that work will be done within months? The minister has stated that September it will be operational, the metro. But how, when? the uh, football ground would be operational. I, I understand the, the problems being faced by the inhabitants of Barclay and some other areas. What I can say now, Madam Speaker, is that the structural works by us, Lassen and Tubro, are in their very last stages. It's a question of weeks. As regards to the huge problem of congestion at Gul and the fact that we have closed the road uh, in, uh, near Barclay, this is going to be a question of two or three weeks. As regards to the re-engineering and upgrading of all the infrastructure, be it roads, sports infrastructure, I am, I'm taking the commitment that this is under the responsibility and of Larson and Tubro to reinstate in a better state the equipments which were existing. And I am talked to my colleague, the uh, PPS of the constituency, and also with the municipality of uh, Bobassin Roselle to see to it that we take this opportunity to re-engineer re the whole area of Barclay. But there is something else, Madam Speaker. We are coming with the urban planning to extend Barclay towards Richelieu. This plan has already been worked out and we are... Aujourd'hui, Barclay is a coup de sac, Madam. Madame la Présidente, demain ce sera une extension. C'est-à-dire que ce ne sera plus la fin de Rosil, mais ça va aller jusqu'à Bambou. Et on est en train de travailler. Le plan, le plan est prêt. Le plan est prêt et sera présenté au Conseil des ministres très prochainement. La confiance, new NSDC. It's a new NSDC complex. It's called Beryl. I tend to disagree with the minister, but I'm asking him to have a side visit. The, the, the housing state is adjacent next to the big construction site, the depot, the football ground of uh, uh, Barclay. So there were a lot of cracks with dust. The, the houses have been damaged, some of the houses, with lorries going by, even uh, walls have been damaged. So can I ask the Minister to request the NSDC or his ministry, all of us, to have a complete service and assessment of the state of the houses, the roads, to the new burial complex, which was inaugurated at the last year. La confiance. We will do that. Yeah. I would also like to, um, to inform the House, Madam Speaker, 
that we are coming with a landscaping and embellishment of the whole alignment from Roseville to Portuguese. I'm going to cabinet to August for permission for that soon. Yes, what is for the top latam? Action. People are waiting for they are waiting for you. Yeah. They are waiting for action. Not 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 cheer up, not, not not speech. Not speech. And, and, and don't send the robber there. <laughs> so can, the, can the minister at least give assurance to the house that I think initially he met some, some young, some uh, uh, foreseal the region because they were asking about not only employment because the metro is going through the city Berkeley, not only that they are watching the metro, they are not involved in terms of employment, but also there are, there are stalls, there are stalls which should be uh, uh, given to the, uh, for selling goods. At least, can the minister at least give a commitment that the inhabitants of Berkeley will have priority in the whole issue of employment and uh, also operating the stores and not send people who do not really dislike there? Madam Speaker, uh, I think we, we owe it to the people of Berkeley that the, around the, we will, a small mini terminal uh, around the station and uh, the all the facilities, the meter square that we're going to build for small businesses will be given to the people of Bangkok. Yes. <laughs> Madam Speaker, I'm informed by the Road Development Authority that currently there is no road project undertaken by that authority to link Barclay and Chevel. However, the A1, A3 road, which is under construction, will provide a direct connection between Port Louis, Saint-Jean Road at Chebel, near Gamasivik, and Rivière Noire Road at Grocaille. The contract for the A1-A3 road has already been awarded to Gamma Construction on the 18th of February for the sum of 294 million, and the works are expected to be completed by the 7th of June next year. As regard to land acquisition for the A1-A3 project, I'm informed that the extent of land that has already been acquired stands at 200,000 meters square, out of which 116 meters square belongs to Medellin. My question was not about this new project, which is near uh, Richelieu uh, prison. The, the, the purpose of our thinking was there was an extension of a road starting from Moros, phase one from Moros to Barclay. And there was a track, a missing track, from Chebel, from, from Barclay to uh, return at Moros, at Chebel. So can the minister inform that there has been submitted by the RDA before, the extension of the road from Barclay Football Ground, which is Barclay, to Chebel, at least to, to help to, to, with regard to traffic conditions. The new urban <coughs> extension will cater for that. 